this is the right thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. Okay, so instead of J, I can call this right, so we know that it's the right endpoint. I want this difference if it exists in the dictionary. Let's be clear about this. We know the right one. We know the left one exists, a solution exists. So we'll get the left endpoint of our solution, right? Which is this index plus one. And then I can return left, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks much better. Yeah, I, I also like it better. Yeah. yeah. It's um way better to read it. Like when you go down one line, one line, you, you understand what's going on there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I totally agree. One issue I have with the first for loop. Mm -hmm. um, what happens? You're actually trying to access the, the last element, but at the beginning, prefix sounds is empty. Yeah. And that's totally an error. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Narrator mode, because I don't want to forget this. What happened? I thought you also thought about and came up with this uh, improvements that Mircha uh, pointed out to me, right? Um, I had duplicate code, a code quality and readability rule. Don't have, never have duplicate code. If it is as simple to, um, to remove it, I mean, it wasn't like a very bad duplicate code, like three lines of code and then the same three lines of code. But as Mircha pointed out, that difference is quite lengthy and you use it two times and it just doesn't look uh, good. Use a variable. And the second point, super important, use meaningful variable names. 